Welcome to the spoken tutorial on getting started with eSIM Linux installation. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install eSIM version 1.1.2 on Ubuntu Linux, run eSIM using an example. To install eSIM, we will use Ubuntu Linux 16.04. One can also use any versions of Ubuntu Linux higher than 12.04. For the installation, we require a working internet connection. We also require to be a root user. To use eSIM, one should have basic knowledge of analog and digital electronics. The following packages will be installed along with eSIM. Python 2.7, PyQt4, Matplotlib, ngSpice, KiCad. ISM is a free and open source software alternative to ORCAD. It can be used to create circuit schematic, perform simulation, and create PCB layout. Let us first download the installer files from the eSIM website. Go to eSIM website as shown here. Click on Downloads tab. Click on eSIM Installer Linux. Click on Save to save the installer in your computer. I will click on Cancel as I have already downloaded this file earlier. Go to the folder where the installer file is downloaded. Right click on it and click on Extract here. Now open the terminal window by pressing the Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. Go to the directory where we have saved our eSIM installer folder. On my machine, I will type cd space eSIM hyphen 1.1.2 and press enter. This will take me to my installer folder. Now type dot slash install hyphen linux dot sh space hyphen hyphen install and press enter. On my terminal a message appears. Is your internet connection behind proxy? This message will appear if you are using a network proxy, else it won't. If you are behind a network proxy, you should type Y. If not, then type N. As I am not behind a network proxy, let me type N and press Enter. The next message displayed asks whether the user want to install NGHTL. For basic simulations, NGHTL is not required. Also, since NGHTL is in developing stage, we will type N and press Enter. If prompted, type the root password and press Enter. We can see that the installation of eSIM on Ubuntu Linux OS is now complete. Now that we have installed eSIM, let us do a test run. Let us run an example using eSIM. We are using half wave rectifier example for the test run. Now let us open the project. To launch eSIM, go to desktop and double click on eSIM icon. The eSIM window opens. By default, the project files created will be saved in the eSIM workspace directory. Click on OK in the dialog box. To open the project, click on Open Project button on the top toolbar. Locate the folder where eSIM is downloaded. Open eSIM folder and go to Examples folder. Now open the Half Wave Rectifier folder. Half-Wave Rectifier will appear under Projects. Double-click to select the project. Click Open Schematic button 
on the left toolbar. You can now see the schematic of the half wave rectifier. Press the cursor on the schematic and press F1 key to zoom in. To zoom out, use the F2 key. Now, come to the eSIM window. Let us simulate this project. Click on the simulation button in the left toolbar. This will simulate the circuit. You will see the ng-spice terminal window, the ng-spice plot windows, and the Python plot window. If you are familiar with ng-spice commands, then use this window to plot various other waveforms. This shows the simulated output. Now, come to the Python plot window. Select the nodes for voltage and the branches for current which need to be displayed. Click on Plot. Here, the output voltage is rectified with respect to input. Click on the Maximize button on the Python plot window to see the plot better. Click on the Minimized Schematic window. You can now see the schematic and the plot together. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to install eSIM version 1.1.2 on Ubuntu Linux, run eSIM using half-wave rectifier as an example. This video summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Do you have any questions in this spoken tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSI team will answer them. Please visit this site. Do you have any general or technical questions on eSIM? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The FOSSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this website. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.